All right, welcome back Twitch. Welcome back YouTube. Let's get back to just another game. Dungeon Rampa 2, Goodbye Despair. I'm about to say nighty night sleepy tight. Time to head to bed. Alright. Man, our collection's looking very full. For some reason, I'm really tired today. Well, since I walked around all day today, I was able to obtain several clues. Although I'm not entirely certain if you can even call these clues. Instead, I feel like we're just suffering from more mysteries that don't make sense. This isn't good. As soon as nighttime hits, I can't stop thinking all these pessimistic thoughts. This might be a bad habit of mine. I should just get some sleep for today, rest my mind for a while. And then, I'll give this more thought tomorrow. Actually... Words are extremely dangerous. I like letters. Words cannot be undone with erasers or with a backspace. That's why you need to be extremely careful. Same goes for me. There was a time in my past when I went through a lot of trouble because of that. That's right. I was being trained at the safari park. At the time, there were two animals at the park that I got along with. One was a squirrel named Sir Dietrich, and the other was a fox named Chacha Jr. To be honest, Chacha Jr. was really stupid. If a female employee tried to have a serious talk with him, he just stared at her boobs the whole time. That's why Sir Dietrich would order him to steal panties. And that idiot would get real happy when he exchanged the panties he stole for Dietrich's old undies. Also this one time, the three of us went to a steakhouse and the waiter asked, How would you like it cooked? Chacha Jr. proudly said, With fire! <laughs> Hello Duchess Rain, thank you for the raid. How are you doing? Sir Dietrich was pretty crafty. He knew how to play Chacha Jr. Let me Chacha Jr. Abduct, abduct the fawn and drown it. Let me save that drowning fawn himself. And he made Chacha Jr. tell everyone about it. Man, he did some really shady things. Any of us. Boo! Boo? Yep, it's broken. Boo yourself. Anyway, the three of us were getting along together. We were living a fun life in the safari park. That's right, until the day I ended up saying those words. I accidentally said this to Chacha Jr. <laughs> Aww. Ooh, it's highlighted in green for me. Foxes are squirrels' natural enemies. The next day, I stumbled across what was left of Dietrich Sr. He had been eaten. Good thing I immediately titled to a male employee so that he could put Chacha Jr. could put down Chacha Jr. with a hunting robot. Hunting rifle. God damn it, Nick. <laughs> Alright, go eat food. Even now, I regret saying what I said back then. What the hell? Jeez, squirrels have it rough. We have so many natural enemies. That, well, that was a fucked up story. Like the part about the fox staring at the boobs, though. Or was it the squirrel? Wow. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! I'm pretty sure everyone's starting to meet up. For now, I should head over to the restaurant. Alright, let's leave. Man. Look at all these rooms of valuable things that I could go in and just rob. And nobody would stop me. Not a single person, cause they're dead. Huh? 
Yo, Hajime, check it out. I'm already eaten. As usual, you're eating a lot. Well, we might get locked in a place like the funhouse again. So I gotta eat when I can. Eat well! Shit well! Maybe I won't need the robot voice as often if they just play little sound clips like this. For now. Okay, now that we finished our breakfast, let's jump right into the main topic. Hey, I'm still eating here. I just got here, I haven't had a chance to eat anything yet. It's okay, I'm pretty much done eating. You selfish little... You know, right? And of course, the main topic is about... I plan to capture Nagito that we're supposed to carry out today. It cannot be! Are you really gonna do it? Of course! I spent all night coming up with this plan. <laughs> that means I haven't slept for two days straight. Don't you think my efforts should count for something? Hey, bastard! We get it. Hurry up and spill that plan of yours already. Hmm. Well, I thought up several plans, but in the end I figured a straightforward plan would be the best. Ah. Uh. One of us will be the decoy who lures Nagito into the lobby by telling him we need to talk to him there. And then, at the best possible moment, the two task force members will move in and swiftly capture Nagito. Alright! So that's the plan. What do you think? <laughs> it's easy to understand, so I'm cool with it. Anyway, are there any bananas left? You. So now, I will present each of you with your role. Of course! Since it's my plan, I'll take the role of Commander. I won't let anyone object to that. Hey, hey. But Commander sounds like the most fun. Hey! Didn't I just say I wouldn't let anyone object? Right. Next, I'll present the two task force members. These big roles go to you two, Fuyuhiko and Akane. Um, yeah, um, sure thing. Jeez, you're pathetic. Good choice. You know, right? Yeah. The person burn burdened with the core of this plan, the decoy who has to learn Nakito, I'll give that role to Chiaki Nanami. No way. Huh? No way. <laughs> what did you say? So... I mean, it's not like I ever agreed to this plan. Hey, hey! It's gonna be fine. It's not like you're gonna tie him up, you're just gonna lure him. Well... Besides, there's no way I'd ask Nasoni to take on such a, dan such a dangerous role, you know? So please, I'm begging you. Hey, hey. What a rude way to ask for help. If Mahara were here, she would have beaten you up. You. I mean, you did say earlier that you definitely can't accept killing. <laughs> Isn't that right? I need your help to stop another killing. Hey! And then I just say I'm begging you. Why are you snapping at her all of a sudden? Oh. Fine. All right! You're gonna do it? All right, then this lineup is perfect. Hey, Sonia and I haven't been given roles. What should we do? <laughs> Sonia has the role of princess. That doesn't make any sense. For now. And you're on shore duty. I want you to supply the rope we need to tie up Nagito. Bow down! Denied! Whoa! Why? Listen! If Hajime has nothing to do anyway, he shall accompany me. Miss Sonia? No, like, like I said, he needs to supply the rope. You must not! This is not a request, this is an order. That is an order! In order, I tell you, there's somewhere I must go. Ah. Uh. Uh, uh, fine. If Hajime and Miss are free, it's fine. I'll leave that matter Good. to your discretion. Repeat that. Damn it! If Hajime and Miss are free, it's fine. To object so forcefully, where do you need to go, Sonia? Um... I shall tell you in due time. We will be discovered if I speak too loudly. What did you say?! You're gonna be alone with Hajime? At a secret place? For now... Damn it! We'll carry out the plan tonight. All of you make sure you prepare your bodies and minds. Huh? Is our commander gonna be okay? His energy seems to drop pretty drastically. Let's all disperse for now. <laughs> now then, please come to the hotel lobby in 30 minutes. Uh, yeah, sure thing. After our planning meeting had ended, I quickly finished eating my breakfast. By the time I made it back to my cottage, it was already close to the time I agreed to meet Sonia. Uh, 
Okay. Back to the lobby. I don't want to play with Sonya. I want to play video games with Chiaki. Chiaki's cuter. By like a lot. Oh! Kazuichi! 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 You finally got a girlfriend! Oh, you make such a good couple. Look at you. How do you feel? Look at She's a little short, but that's okay. She's kind of blonde. Alright, what's up, Sonya? Um, Hajime, you are late. Huh? I'm right on time. Wait, should I have come a little earlier? A little earlier? In my country, you are severely punished if you do not arrive 13 minutes before an arranged meeting time. You said half an hour, so half an hour it is. For such an orderly country, 13 minutes is a pretty arbitrary rule. That is... Oh, I see. This is culture shock. Then I guess that can be overlooked. So where are you planning to go? I just have to come along, right? Well? Of course. It is a place that pertains to this discovery we made yesterday. Jabberwock Island Development Plan? Did you find out something about it? Um... Why should I say this? After reading the document over and over again, I suddenly realized the Future Foundation was planning to rebuild a facility on this island to use as their headquarters. You're talking about the large administrative building on the central island, right? But I couldn't find a building like that anywhere. Maybe they said something about a different island? Do you have a minute? Or what if their plans suddenly changed and they had to use a different facility? A different facility? Well? Was there not a facility on this island inscribed with the symbol of the Future Foundation? Um... As I recall, that ancient ruin on the second island had a, such a symbol on its door. Yeah, you're right. The Japanese word for future, Mirei, was inscribed there. If that's the case, that ruin might be connected to the Future Foundation, right? However... The discrepancies in this document are strange, but there's no doubt that the ruin is quite suspicious. You're right. I had completely forgot about it after being locked in the funhouse, but... The possibility that that ancient ruin is connected to the Future Foundation is incredibly high. I knew there was something strange about that place. Sonia, after hearing all this, I want to go there as much as you do. I'll definitely come with you. <laughs> then, I may not be competent, but so please be patient with me. Okay. Let's head back to the second island to look at a door. And probably turn around and immediately leave after that, because we can't get inside. I'm on a date! <laughs> Do you really think someone as un unimportant as you is allowed to walk with Miss Sonya alone? It is strange, no? Hmm? I allowed it. Damn it! <laughs> you got, you got Monami here. Hold hands and follow me. <laughs> Katsuichi won't listen to me no matter how much I tell him. I... But I won't give up. As a teacher, I must correct my students for good. Okay, whatever. Have fun with that. Alright, to the second island. At least we get some steps in. Do I want to walk there or do I want to run? Walking gets me more steps, but running is faster. Uh, we'll do this. We'll, we'll do this mix kind of, of thing that's going on that probably doesn't really actually save me any time or get me any more steps. So, like, I lose the both of us rolls, but it makes me feel better about myself. And really, that's the important thing. Alright, to the second island. Ah, it also has a side benefit of making my thumb tired. So that's cool. We got that going for us. Speaking of tired, someone's enjoying a post-dinner nap. Alright, and then it was this way. And, you know, let's... Let's see how much that helped. Completely arbitrarily, because I did not actually measure anything. Got a couple hundred steps.
No matter how many times I see this place, it certainly gives me the willies. However... Well, we should not dwell on that. After all, we are here to look for clues. That's right. There's no doubt we'll find something here. Alright, let's start. Click that. Go to door. Now that I'm taking a closer look at this, the door looks even stranger. For a building looks pretty run down and shabby, the door looks very high tech. Future, huh? Channel! This LCD next to the door. That's probably it. This is probably the key. The door will probably open if we input the correct numbers. Please wait! We have discussed this before as well, but it would be dangerous to test it haphazardly. Well? If, it, if we make a mistake, it's possible that we will be fired upon by that gun. I can think of no other reason for that gun to be there. As long as that's a possibility, it'd be bad if we acted recklessly. I am concerned. That is right. Courage and recklessness are completely different. If you were shot at by a gun like that, you would have more holes in you than a Beatrice's nest. You mean a bee's nest? You are wrong! In my country, we use the expression Beatrice's nest. Anyway, right now we definitely shouldn't test it out so recklessly. I see, I see. In order to open this door, we must find the password first. Or destroy the door with some kind of explosive force. Nah, that's impossible. The door looks extremely sturdy. It's definitely better if we find out the password instead. Alright, all we have to do to find out the All we have to do next is find out what that password is. It's a good thing we came here so we could at least find that out. We could we didn't have to come here at all! You are right. But the problem is where would we obtain that password? When we first came here, even Monokuma and Monami said they didn't know the password. If they really don't know it, how are we supposed to find out? As usual, it's a mystery, huh? Cool. We came here, we looked at the door, we moved away. <laughs> that was worth it. After finishing our investigation of the ancient ruin, Sonia and I decided to go back to our cottages for now. It's still the middle of the day. Looks like I have some free time. Now then, what should I do? Well, if my information is right, we have two final free times. Which is just enough, just enough to finish playing with one student. And where is she? Uh, map. I assume she is, yeah, oh, where she always is. Playing video games. Oh, actually, before we do that, let's go gamble. Let's go gamble for stuff. Let's just blow all the coins. All, all the coins we have, we're just going to spin them all and see how much crap we can get for them. So we're just going to gamble them all the way. Actually, not all of them. I want to see if the supermarket actually has something. Something that I could certainly afford and it might be good to have that before we go for Chiaki. Or it might not make a difference. I don't know. Resolution, you still shitting blood? Alright, let's purchase. I want to go all the way down here. Okay, I don't think... Yeah, I'll purchase this is the only thing I can think of that she might be interested in, and I doubt it. But I can't really look at the description there, so... Alright, now we'll just go gamble everything. Just gamble it all! I don't even care. Don't even give a shit! Not one single plopping poop. All 
the way to the tree. This is going to be the last time we do this. Because when I say final two free times, that means the game, the entire game. We're going to be done with free times after today, if my information is right, and I think it is. Would you like to try your hand against the Mono Mono Yachin? Yes, give it a shot. Alright, well, we'll still do this in 50 increments. Because I don't think there's any benefit to doing it higher than that. We got a purple ring. Lucky. Another bracelet. Lucky. A guitar, a ukulele. Uh, we got. A doll of some kind. That doesn't feel very lucky. Alright. Let's see what you guys think about this. We got... Tissues? Another doll. Another ukulele. Oh, that's the female version. <laughs> That's the female version of the man flask. Okay, I'm gonna look forward to seeing what that is. A stapler? Not a red one. A camera. And that's it. Wow. Generous. I feel like I'm not really getting my 50 coins worth of luckies here. A washing machine? I think that's the thing I just bought. Good, I've got two of those. The dolls. Another set, set of dolls. Compact. Oh, that would've been a good for Sonya if I'd gotten that earlier. That's, uh, that's definitely something Sonya would've been interested in. Because it looks like Sailor Moon's compact. Sesame seeds? Or... Sunflower seeds. Heels. Another washing machine. And, wow. Well, it's not really paying out the way that I'd hoped. A man's nut. Still don't know what that's about. Toilet paper. And that's it. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Nothing of interest there. Sunflower seeds. Okay. The seeds of that particular flower that loves facing the sun, they have a similar they have a flavor somewhat similar to peanuts. The flower itself represents the sun's watch flies. Okay, so we got sunflower seeds. Safety half shoes. These shoes only cover your toes, but the iron plate in the tip keeps your toes safe. Those are very fashionable. Uh measuring flask. There we go. A laboratory instrument with a feminine symbol on it. Organic synthesis is possible, but combining this with a measuring flask for the male, the male cylinder, I guess. So, that looks like a penis. That looks like a uterus with a birth canal. Razor Ramon HG. A cooking device that makes foes simply by putting leftover rice in it. Vietnamese food has surged in popularity due to this item. Is that, is that a, is that a reference to the George Foreman grill? Razor Ramon, George Foreman? I choose to think it is. Mr. Stapler. A stapler used in the medical field. As long as you set the appropriate needle, you can staple a wound closed as easily as assembling a manga. I'm kind of glad we don't have that for, for a Mikan anymore. Kokishi Dynamo. Flip the switch on the bottom to shape. Wow. Wow. Flip the switch on the bottom to shut the doll to set the doll shaking. Apparently it's a kid's toy, but I don't really get the point of it. That's a vibrator! <laughs> That's straight up a vibrator. Look at it and tell me that's not a vibrator. 
<sighs> paper, 10th act verse. A paper hand handkerchief used by upper cla class craftsmen. They keep it inside the pockets until they need to wipe their mouths. Okay. Century potpourri. Aromatic blend of ripened flowers, herbs, and fruit skins. You'll enjoy the smell of this potpourri for 100 years. Man's nut. A huge nut that can't be found in nature. It's said to exist within a man's heart. It's said that consuming this to increase your power... This will increase your power to pursue romance. I guess that would be for Nekamaru. And yeah, like, compact costume. By chanting a secret spell, this mysterious compact mirror will transform you into anything. Even if you're a girl who doesn't stand out much, this item will help put you at the front and center. So that's definitely a Sailor Moon reference. And Sonya would have loved that. Bandage wrap. A cloth bandage wrap used to treat wounds. In some cases, you can also use this, this to demonstrate your morbidity or cruelty. Summer Festival Tree. The debut single of the boy band Black Cherry. The song became a huge hit due to its, due to its rhythmic beat and catchy lyrics about summer. Okay, at least I didn't get two of these. Um, RC4WD Battler Taro. A manga about a boy named Taro who fights using RC cars. Children across Japan cried when Taro said this line in the final chapter. Adults will never understand. A goal is still a goal, even if it's a reverse run. Uh, is that like Astro Boy? I feel like that's an Astro Boy. Oh, yeah. Gundam's favorite invisible underwear. You can't tell if it's really there or not. Apparently humans with low astral vision cannot see it. It's basically implied that Gundam is constantly going commando. <laughs> Forgot to point that out. Nurse's apron. Proof that you cleared Chapter 3 of Mimito Mikan Sumiki. It's soaked with the smell of medicine. And the Hellhound Earring. Proof that you cleared Chapter 4. Proof that you, of being the top breeder. When it's worn by Gundam Tanaka, its true power shines through. So... <laughs> I'm tempted to give the vibrator <laughs> to, to a girl and see how she reacts. I don't want to fuck it up. I don't want to fuck it up. But that's 100% a vibrator. You know what? I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look to see. Hang on a sec. I, I gotta know. I have to know. I've never had this before. What's the name of it? I have to know. Um, it was. It was before Mr. Stapler. It was after half to shoes. Wasn't it? Uh, There it is. Okay, Kokishi Dynamo. I have to know how they how they respond to this. I'm it's it's important. I I cannot think of anything that's more important than this at the moment. Mikan would have liked it. She also would have loved the Queen's straight jacket, the Mr. Stapler, or the bandage wrap. But she would have liked the vibrator. Um... <laughs> Wait, are you real? Are, are you for real? <laughs> Um, Taro Taro would have loved this thing. <laughs> Taro Taro loves the passionate glasses, the kiss note, and the Kokishi Dynamo. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, Taro Taro, you, you do you. Uh, I just want to see here. 
Um, I, I want to see Jackie free time events. That's not the right thing. <laughs> Here we go. Free time events, Chucky Nanami. Um, Tips and Tricks, second edition. Powered Gauntlet, Nitro Racer, Century Pop. Oh, she loves the Century Popery. That's good to know. Rose and Vitro, the Skull Hen Mask. Uh, she likes the. Sunflower Seeds, the Hoops Peak Ring, the Dice Set, the Fun Box, the Fun Plane, Slap Bracelet, Ghost Stone, Moon Rock, Marine Snow, Mini Wave Dissipators, Stardust, Sun Sword. Alright, I want to know one more thing about this. About this. I'm pretty sure... Uh, I'm pretty sure she wouldn't be any interested in it, but there's a reason I'm looking this up for Sonya. Um, there's lines kind of at the end that uh, really, uh, really paint a different picture of Sonya than we've known up to now. But let's see, she does not like this item. Okay. She likes Google Hip Cake, Brightly Colored Jeans, Another Battle, and Century Potpourri. She loves Century Potpourri. Uh, she basically likes a lot of the common things. Oh, yeah, she would have liked the second button. That makes sense. Desperation, paper, tap. The... Yep. All right. So, apparently, it is, uh, hmm. Uh, Taro Taro would have liked to put this to good use, apparently. Good to know. Good, good, good to know. Glad I looked that up. Also, uh... <laughs> That's not, that's not, um, that's not a slam against people using that in the butt. It's a slam against Taro Taro using that, using that in the butt. I don't want to think about Taro Taro in the butt. Alright. <laughs> Chucky, you want to hang out? Hey, hey. What? Sonya's no good, but I'm okay. What's that supposed to mean? What should I do? Should I hang out with her? Sure. Yep. Yeah, sure. Well? I was gonna play some games until we're ready to execute the plan. Wanna play with me? Yes. I spent time today playing games with Chiaki. Looks like we grew a little closer. Let's give her a present. Alright, if she likes the if she loves the century potpourri, then let's just give her that. Uh, I think, yeah, the other thing I had to give her was the Tits and Tricks 2nd Edition, which she also loves. Where is the potpourri? Potpourri. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Hajime, you seem to be holding something pretty nice. Thanks. Thank you. No one has ever given me such an awesome present before. Hey, hey. Hey, where do you want to go today? This is the first time I've seen Chiaki look so interested. And she's not even sleeping. Also, is she blushing a little? Maybe she was looking forward to this. Let's see, why don't we check out the storage room of the old building? We might find something interesting. You wanna go make out in the closet? Yep. <laughs> like Sokoban, that's a fun game to play. It's this old puzzle game where you have to push boxes in a warehouse to their assigned spots. I hate that game. I fucking hate those games. Ugh. Oh, yeah, and then... For the longest time, those were the most popular games for them to make on Game Boy. Oh, I see. Let's go! Then let's win over Monami so we can go inside the storage room. I was really hoping they'd just make out. Chiaki pumped herself up and after winning over Monami, we went to the storage room. Monami was also there, which kind of killed the mood. Hmm. There's not a whole lot you can push and pull. Don't tell me you were serious about playing Sokoban in the storage room. No wonder she seems so excited about coming here. Hey, hey! Hey, Hajime, are you good at puzzle games? Nah, I'm not that good at using my brain. You think so? Huh, really? Maybe you just don't like them because you haven't played that many. Well? You know how to properly theorize in order to view things. 
and you can calm, calmly manage when it's important. I feel like you'd be good at puzzle games once you got the hang of it. Huh? You really assume me like that? The, that kind of embarrasses me. See? For example, Rubik's Cubes and Jigsaw Puzzles are puzzle games too. Oh yeah, I remember putting together a lot of Jigsaw Puzzles when I was little. See? Yep, yep. Then you already know the trick, right? The trick to Jigsaw Puzzles. Obviously, you assemble from the outer pieces. You assemble from the outer pieces, right? Yep. That's right. First you separate the pieces with edges. Afterward you separate the leftovers by color. It makes putting it together a whole lot easier. I see. Now I kind of feel like putting one together since it's been such a long time. Um... Ah, uh, that reminds me. My father always programmed puzzle games. Your father is a programmer? Yep. Apparently he was pretty manly when he was focusing in front of his laptop. Hmm. But I heard he couldn't solve a puzzle he made, and it really depressed him. But since he hated losing, he actually went out of his way to write a separate program, and then he made the program do stuff like a brute force attack. Brute what? Um... Mm. It's a way to forcibly finding the answer. No worries though, it's normal for you to not know. I don't really understand, but it seems like Chiaki also knows about programming. But more importantly, why does everything she say about her father sound like hearsay? Wouldn't that mean she didn't personally see it? Hey, hey! Uh, we should get going and head back. Yeah, you're right. Huh? Huh? I quickly opened my arms and caught Chiaki as she fell into them. Are you okay? Thanks. Ah, uh, how embarrassing. I've never tripped before in my life. As she said that, she stepped away from my chest. My heart sounds really loud. Of course it does, it's my heart. Ah, oh, that surprised me. You're pretty hard, Hajime. What? Huh? Huh? Um, mm, that is... <laughs> Unlike me, your arms and chest are really built. You're definitely a boy. Oh, that's what you meant. Yeah, that's obvious. But I'm glad you caught me. That means I'll be fine in case of emergencies. Sleepy. Even if I suddenly get sleepy, I'll be fine. You can carry me. <sighs> hey, don't sleep. Mm. Okay, report card has been updated. <coughs> I desperately tried to keep Chiaki from falling asleep and walked her back to her room. Looks like I have some free time. What should I do now? Let's go bug Chiaki again, because, uh... I'm hard. Uh, let's see here. Is she back playing video games, or did she go back to her, her room? She's back playing video games, okay. I think we've been able to see her in her cottage once. Once. <laughs> this entire game. And now I suddenly feel very lucky that we actually did that. Alright, Chiaki, time for the final free time activity. Super difficult. Hmm, how should I lure out Nakita? Acting sexy definitely won't work. What should I do? Should I hang out? Sure. Hey, hey. What do you think I should do? Acting sexy definitely won't work. Have you tried? I spent time today with Chiaki thinking of ways to lure out Nagito. And we grew a little closer. Alright, let's give her the final present of the game. And of course, we're going to give her the tips and trick book. Which is... Right there. <laughs> Isn't that a pretty rare item? Thanks. Seems a little... I feel like it might raise the flag. Um... Um, there's somewhere I want to go with you today. Is that okay? Yeah, of course. Anywhere is fine. It's the first time Chiaki has picked a place herself. My heart is starting to race. Chiaki took me to the beach. I heard growling, and I was like, are you growling at me in your sleep? No, she's snoring. That's what I'm listening. I'm hearing tiny kitty snores. 
She's looking around for some reason. Hey, why'd you pick the beach after all this time? Did you want to go swim or something? Hmm. Ah, uh, in those type of games, usually... <laughs> you'd put lotion on my back, right? And then you'd touch me in a weird place, and I'd yell at you. It's a standard tactic. Huh? Which reminds me, where do you think the legendary tree is growing? What kind of game are you talking about now? Well... I shall give you three choices for what we're going to do from now on. Please select from the following three. Is this a new game of hers or something? I opened the piece of paper Chiaki gave me. Do I really have to choose one of these three? Celebrate in the ocean, hug Chiaki, happy happy joy joy. <laughs> Uh, I actually don't know what the right answer here is. Happy Happy Joy Joy! Apparently that was it. Happy Happy Joy Joy? What does this even mean? Hmm. I don't really know either, but it's probably something like this. Suddenly Chiaki started running. Um, catch me if you can. She continued running across the beach. I had no choice, so I chased after her. After chasing her around for a little bit, we felt really tired and sat down on the beach. Chiaki, what in the world are we doing? <sighs> I was thinking about overcoming the genre I'm bad at. Bad at? Oh, now I remember. The other day you mentioned that there are games you're not good at. Apparently, my father also wasn't good at things like this. Well, this is the most difficult after all. Hmm. But, hmm, let's see. So this is what it feels like. Why do you feel convinced by yourself? Hey, hey. Just now, that was a date, right? I think those are usually a, a little different. But I sort of understand what Chiaki meant when she said she's not good at this genre. She probably means dating sims. After spending time with you, I realized something for the first time. There are lots of things I still don't understand. For example, I know how babies are made, but I don't really know how to fall in love with someone. That sort of thing. Why would you use that as an example? What happened? Oh, what happened? Your face is red, Hajime. N nothing happened. Yep. Just as I thought, there's still a bunch of stuff I don't know anything about. I want to know more about lots of things. Because if I do, I'll be able to understand much more, I think. Well? So can you keep teaching me, Hajime? Yeah, of course. But in order to do that, we need to hurry up and get off this island. Don't ever forget about me. Even, Even after, after you... you get out of here. Okay, that. Huh? I don't know why Chiaki would say something like that. But there's no denying the strong bond I feel between Chiaki and myself. I will definitely get out of here and take Chiaki to a lot of different places. And Chiaki's report card has been updated. We just unlocked the skill Cheat Code. Give yourself a pat on the back, you earned it. And we got Chiaki's panties. You've attained a present, Chiaki's undergarments. You can check it from the present menu. She just kind of just handed those straight over, huh? After discussing different ideas about where we should go next, I return to my room. Looks like it's starting to get dark. And with that, it seems like the plan's about to be set in motion, but we're gonna do that next time! Thank you so much for coming out and joining me today, YouTube. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me your likes, leave me comments, remember to subscribe. And you guys have a great day. Twitch will continue in a moment. Oh god, Chiaki is part of the program. Oh yeah. You still... You think it's virtual still. Okay. Uh, anyway, Twitch, give me a minute and we'll continue.